What does a journalist do with scrapbooks she buys at a flea market compiled by a member of one of Youngstown's most prominent families? She turns them into a book. Tonight, the story of author Lillian Reynolds Rear and her book, Her Name Was Mary Wick. I sat at a long table this afternoon at the Grove City Historical Society and listened as Lillian Reynolds Rear sifted through the scrapbook of Mary Wick. This is a letter, very touching, from my boyfriend, and she's at camp. She's about 14 when she got this, and her boyfriend is her father. The scrapbook was one of five that Lillian bought 20 years ago at Brookfield's Old Valley View Flea Market. And I asked the dealer how much they were, and I can't remember the price, but it's exactly what I had with me. Lillian has since given four of the scrapbooks back to the Wick family, but the one she kept gives a glimpse into the life of Mary Wick, from when she was born in 1916. And so she's a woman who lived through many, many decades of changes, particularly for women. Her father was James L. Wick, a leading Youngstown industrialist. One of Mary's pictures shows him at an event broadcast on WKBN. Mary Wick graduated from Cheney High School. She took first place um, in the state of Ohio in second year French. There's a playbill from the Youngstown Playhouse and a sign that reads disease. Mary Wick's sister had polio. The family was quarantined. The sign was on their house. Also in the box with the scrapbooks were some of Mary Wick's artwork. She was, for a while, the medical illustrator for the Youngstown Hospital Association. After years of reading the scrapbooks, putting them away and reading them again, Lillian Reynolds Rear finally decided to write the book titled Her Name Was Mary Wick. I felt I was meant to write her story and the more times I went through them, the more I bonded with her. I felt that I knew her. If you'd like to listen to Lillian Reynolds Rear talk about Mary Wick and her book, she's going to be speaking next Thursday, November 16th at the Tyler History Center in downtown Youngstown. The doors open at 1130. The program begins at noon. Bring a lunch. It's part of the Mahoney Valley Historical Society's Bites and Bits of History programs.